Hello guys and welcome back. Today we are doing a get ready with me. I have some new products and some old products. I pulled up some products that I absolutely love like my Claire Depot natural foundation. I'm really excited to play with this one today again and the concealer. I've had these for years and it's been like my favorite foundation. So I was like, why not pull that back out? I have the new makeup by Mario palette the neutral eyeshadow palette this looks beautiful i haven't even swatched it i have the house labs new blushes she re-released her blushes made them a little smaller i think they're a little cheaper and then she introduced two new colors which i picked up um i also have the tom ford slim stick concealer no absolutely not this is the lipstick <laughs> it looks a little like concealer but um yeah just a mishmash of everything some new some old so i hope you guys will enjoy it if you are new here welcome my name is tanya i'd love for you to subscribe down below you can follow me on instagram i even have tiktok not very active but it's there so that's it let's get started right now i have nothing on my skin i've done my skincare this morning but i'm gonna put a little bit of my caudalie beauty elixir i'm almost out of this one the sephora sale is coming so i'm gonna pick another one up this is so refreshing i absolutely adore this product if you're wondering if i have something on my lips i do it, but it's a stain so it's not coming off i'm gonna take a little bit of my Chantecai. this is the sheer glow rose face tint i've been really back into this it gives me a slight glow and a little bit of moisturization look at that it is extremely expensive it's kind of like a skincare like glow product in one and it's Chantecai. i mean it's gotta be expensive but I do really enjoy it. It somehow gives me some hydration, also a little bit of glow, and it blurs my skin. I don't know how it does all that, but I enjoy it a lot. Now for foundation, I pulled out my Cledipo Radiant Fluid Foundation in Natural. I have two colors, 020 and 040, and I'm gonna mix them. I'm very fair right now at my fairest. So maybe 020 may work by itself i may put a dot yeah i'm gonna put just a dot of the 040 just because even though my skin my face skin is very fair my body is just a little bit more tan so i'm just gonna mix these two together and apply it this used to be my number one foundation i last year in the past two years i want to say i was obsessed with this foundation and i pulled it back out a couple days ago and i adore it it's so beautiful i definitely didn't want to do a full face of just new products again i know there's been so many new releases the spring releases are here so i definitely wanted to pull out some old favorites and maybe inspire you to kind of look through your makeup and see what you have that you absolutely love and forgot about this is such a skin-like foundation i would say it's medium coverage the finish is very natural not too glowy um and it becomes one with my skin i don't notice it throughout the day i think it's a very uh expensive but i was about to say worth the money but it's like not worth the money i think it's 130 dollars I absolutely got mine on sale. I almost never purchase full price when it comes to Clé Poe, but I would repurchase this, absolutely. I think it's just that beautiful. It can be built up if you want to, building up just a little bit more on the cheek area. It lasts very well throughout the day. Beautiful finish, look at that, so, so good. And skin like i think that's my biggest worry when it comes to foundation and pores i want my pores to look just very smooth not emphasized and the skin to look like skin since i'm wearing cledipo i'm gonna pull out their stick concealers these are a cult following these are the ones that will always be a favorite mostly if you're a makeup artist i used to use these all the time on my clients 
It's just the most perfect concealer that's not too glowy, it's not too slippery. It covers acne really well. I put it under my eyes and I love it. I have, I would say, normal to dry skin and it's not drying under my eyes at all. It's a perfect concealer in my opinion. I have the color three and four and three is definitely brightening, but I'm gonna use them both. I'm gonna kind of combine them. I think what I really like about this concealer, not just the ease of use, it's also the fact that they're not too slippery. I have the Tom Ford Stick Concealer, which I do really like, but that one has a lot of radiance. So if you have a lot of dryness under the eyes, you need uh, luminosity, that is great. But this one is also a concealer that stays in place and doesn't move around. I also can pull off not wearing powder with this one because it's that beautiful. It sets itself. It's just gorgeous. And blends in so nicely. I am using the new refer B02. Uh, they came out with three new synthetic brushes, a concealer, an eyeshadow one, and the foundation. This is the one that I've used non-stop since I bought it. And I think they have a deal, three for $36. You can get all of these three. I will link it down below. It's worth the money, $36. That's such a good deal for all three brushes. Um, and synthetics brushes are just so good for concealers, foundation, liquid products, or creams. It's so much easier to work with them. And this definitely is my favorite. I do like the um, concealer one. It's like this. It's shorter. I should use this one. It's just very, very dense. So I like to use this on spot concealing um, or like to line around my lips or the nose. Under the eyes, I like something a little bit fluffier, even though this is not fluffy. But <laughs> you know what I mean? This is very, very dense. I sometimes even use my finger to blend this in. And then the other product is an eyeshadow uh, blending brush, which is wonderful. I found it, it's the B03. So this is how it looks like, but I also like to use this for concealer or small areas. Just look how beautiful the base looks like. The concealer is not set and I don't even know if I'm gonna set it. I'll decide at the end but the base looks fabulous. This foundation, there's a reason why it was my number one uh, for a couple of years in a row. The concealer is wonderful, just such a beautiful pair, old favorites and incredible. If you have them, I dare you to pull them out and just enjoy how beautiful they are. I did put some gel this morning through my brows, so I don't think I'm gonna do anything to them because I don't think they need they need much of anything. I think they're fine. Pulling another favorite. This is the Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate. This is in the shade 01, Intensity 01. And I'm just going to bronze up with this product. I will always have this in my collection. Always. I want to say I went through three of them so far. And I the second I... Um, finish it, I always repurchase it. It's beautiful. I like the shade 01 the best for me. There is a 0.5 one that if you're a little fair, works really great. I've tried that one on myself. It worked well, but I still prefer this one. It gives me enough um, bronziness, but not too much. Look at that. Perfection. Of course, my Victoria Beckham contour sticks. I'm gonna use these for the nose and lip. Oh, I think this is the deeper one. This is the color marble. I usually use travertine for my nose. So I'm gonna kind of swap that, blend this in. Put a little bit of travertine here. This is another product that the second I run out of, I'm gonna pick it up. I think you get very little product for what you're getting, but because I use it every single time, 
it's worth it to me. And I don't use it all over my face. I mainly use it for my nose, my lips, sometimes my eyes. If I want to contour my eyes. Um, so it lasts me a long time. Okay, moving on to the first new product. The House Labs blushes. I have here the color Fire Moon and French Rosette. These were, I want to say $32. Let me look up my receipt. Yes, they are $32 each. I think they used to be $36 or $38. And they reduced the size, which I'm so thankful for. Because the big one, the other one was so massive. There's no way I would ever hit paint on that blush. Um, maybe they were even more expensive than 30 something. And the new packaging, yes. I love that she put the color of the blush on the outside packaging. Look how beautiful this is. I love the new packaging. It's a little bit smaller. I think the formula is supposed to be the same. I will let you guys know. But I'm, I'm loving this so much better. So I pulled out the old packaging. Look at this massive packaging. It's huge. And I mean, who's ever going to hit paint on this? This is a beautiful color. It's the hibiscus. No, the watermelon bliss. I think I have the hibiscus, the bright pink one as well. But I love the new packaging so much more per ounce you get less product, but I think it's just wiser to get uh, a little less product and just less money as well. Now, the color I really wanted to pick up was the peach one, which is not new, the Pomelo Peach, but they didn't have it in stores, so I'm probably gonna order it online. I am much more willing to buy these now, like more colors, that the packaging is smaller. The, this was just too big for a blush, in my opinion. This is so much more doable in my personal opinion you can travel with this a little bit better so um let's see this oh that looks like a beautiful color she definitely needed a little bit more neutral shades even though they're neutral they're still very pigmented so this one is the rose one the french rosette and then the brown one is the fire moon Let's do some swatches here. The formula seems exactly the same from what I can remember. I love these colors. Just imagine the pomelo peach right there because it's coming. <laughs> I'm going to order it. I know that pomelo peach color is a favorite for so many people. So I kind of had FOMO <laughs> because I couldn't pick it up and they discontinued it. So I'm glad it's back and I will pick that one up. Okay, let's start with the rose one okay this color yes does it have a sheen in it i think the other one here let me swatch they're so incredibly creamy that i think the texture has a cream in it it's not the actual um pigment the pigment is matte i don't see any glitter in it or anything like that but wow it definitely has a soft sheen to it do you see it i'm gonna take a fluffier brush and blend this all in i'm trying to put a little bit more pigment so you guys can see the color better this is a fabulous color wow beautiful you can build it up you can sheer it out the formula seems to be the same which is nice it looks very intimidating these blushes but if you build them out slowly you can sheer out the color or build it up so i just love the versatility of this formula it looks great on the cheek again this is on wet base so what i'm gonna do i will powder a little bit this side just to see how it applies compared to the one that wasn't set i am gonna take my chanel the le beige powder and just powder this section right here this is a beautiful powder it's soft it's blurring it's just beautiful okay now let's try the color fire moon so excited about this one 
Okay, this is a Sephora 55 and I'm gonna take some of it off and then go onto the cheek. I love that you can sheer out the product or build up the color. I mean, I took some off before I put it on my cheek, which definitely helps. <laughs> color wow I do think that it is smoother on the side where I powdered underneath which makes perfect sense right I just kind of wanted to try it both ways this color is gonna be a perfect summer color for me I mean it's neutral enough where I could wear it every day um, and this one definitely has a little bit more rosiness in it and I think the glow that you see is from the foundation underneath. Here it still has a soft glow, a, a natural finish coming through. Where here, where I didn't powder, definitely that foundation shows up a little bit more. It's funny because I think today I was supposed to release my blush declutter and here I am <laughs> with new blushes, but absolutely beautiful. Yes, I'm so glad I picked these up. I will absolutely pick up the Pomelo Peach. I will not miss out on it this time. I wanna build this up a little bit, the rosy color. Here are both blushes, the French Rosette, beautiful, and then the Fire Moon. I don't know which one I like better. I think they're both beautiful, very wearable blushes. And I really like the formula, it's beautiful. You know what, I'm just gonna try to even out the colors <laughs> just to not have a wonky blush application. I definitely added a little bit too much here. That's okay. If you ever made a mistake where you added too much blush like I just did, get your powder and just go over and it would just calm that blush down a little bit. For a little bit of highlighter, I've been really into my Dior palette. Just a little bit, I guess, everywhere. <laughs> it's so beautiful and smoothing that um, you don't need to be afraid for it to go over pores. I almost picked up the liquid highlighter, the Maximizer highlighter from Dior that just released. I tried it on my cheeks and it was beautiful, but Kind of felt like I had the Lisa Eldridge one that did very similar things. So I decided to skip for it for now on it. Maybe during the sale, I'll pick it up. I am gonna set this real quick. This is the Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. Let's move on to the Makeup by Mario, the neutral eyeshadow palette. I do have his original matte palette. The format is the same. You can kind of tell that the old one is definitely leaning a lot more warm and the new one I would say that there's cool tone neutral cool tone and I'm very excited because I think the new browns look at those I think they look very beautiful I also have here the ethereal eyeshadow palette and these are the tones I think it's more similar to this one just because in the ethereal one, you do have some cool tones in there, neutral, but you also have the warms. Of course, you have the shimmers in the ethereal, and then the new one is all matte. I think I wanna do some live swatches with you guys and just see how the formula is. I've heard that it is similar to the ethereal mattes, not the original uh, all matte palette. Now the original eyeshadow palette, I absolutely love. I thought the formula was nice because it was a little bit just easier to work with. They were a little bit more powdery, not quite as pigmented. So it was easy if you just wanted to slowly build up the eye look. So I personally loved that. But this new formula feels a little bit more like the ethereal palette. So these are the first shades, the first four shades. I mean, you can barely tell them. <laughs> they blend into my skin very well. Here we have the next row right here. The formula is very creamy and definitely pigmented and not very chalky. There is some 
kickback, but it's it's not bad at all. And then let's do the last row. These are very, very pigmented. There's definitely some fallout. Can you guys see? Um, but that's expected with these intense colors. Here are the swatches of the new eyeshadow palette. I love these undertones. There's definitely some cool tones in there, but there's a lot of just straight up neutral browns, which I adore. I do want to compare the Patrick Ta new all matte eyeshadow palette. And I think the bottom row right here is similar to the Makeup by Mario one. The tones seem similar. And this is to, supposed to be the cool tone, but honestly, this is to me more of a neutral um, undertones. It's not super cool tone. So I think, I don't know, I could probably find some dupes in here. I adore this palette from Patrick Ta. It's probably my most used palette. I mean, I know it's my most used palette from him, but lately I've been picking it up a lot. And so I'm personally am very excited about this. I know there's some people that weren't very excited about the palette. It's $50 and they kind of said that, oh, he kind of missed the mark or he's kind of a year too late. But I personally am very excited about this release and can't wait to play with it. And I, I really think that this is gonna be a staple in my collection if it performs the way I think it will. I'm gonna take this second lightest shade. Let me pull off this little thing. I know my blush is leaning warm, but we'll, we'll make it work. Okay, just by this one shade, I can tell that the formula is a little bit creamier. It's a little bit more pigmented than the original one. Definitely similar to the ethereal eyes. I'm gonna take on the same fluffy brush. This is an old Studio Gear number 34 brush. I don't even know if they sell this one, but I have, I think, three of them and they're my most used fluffy brushes. This is a beautiful shade. It has a slight pink in it, but it's still very neutral. I was debating to do a separate video doing three different looks on this palette, but I mean, they're all mattes. So they're all gonna be matte eyeshadow looks. Um, maybe I could do different looks on a reel. I just really wanted to tell you how the quality is, what I thought about the shades so far. I love those two shades so much. It's beautiful. I'm gonna take a smaller brush and I think I'm gonna go in this deeper brown right here and build out this outer V corner, blending it out like so. I'm gonna try to use as many colors as I can without it making it look muddy. So far, I'm really liking the blend of this. Did you see how smooth it was? Very easy to work with. Pigmented enough, a little bit powdery, but not too much. I'm not seeing any fallout so far. I do tap the brush. I mean, I do that with any eyeshadow. Then with a fluffy brush, I'm gonna take again that lighter second shade and blending all of this in, not too much. And then, you know what? Let's darken this up a little bit and taking this shade down here. I really, really love the colors. And I know it may seem boring, but to me, these are just the colors that I always use. And I think these are more modern, neutral, slightly cool tones. We do have nowadays, we do have more kind of cool, neutral shadows. But even with a Patrick Ta, there's cool tone and warm tones in that one. You know, so if you want a true neutral leaning a little bit cool, this would be a perfect shadow for you. I'm taking an even smaller brush. This is a refer number 14. I'm gonna go, ooh, that definitely has a lot of kickback right there. So make sure you tap real well. And I'm gonna build up this outer corner even more. Actually, I'm gonna bring it on the lower lash line as well. 
and bring it out to a V. We're definitely doing a smokier all matte look. I just really like how easy these are to blend, even though that's a really intense color, it still blends out very nicely. And why not? Let's just take this gray slash tiny bit of blue in it, and I'm gonna bring it a little bit in into the lid. Kind of bring it in that V and pull it towards the, the mobile lid just to give that tone more of a gray look. See how it kind of transformed it? I mean, I hope the camera can pick it up, but to me, this definitely pulls a little bit more gray. This is more of a just regular brown. I'm kind of liking this. I'm taking the brown right here and taking it on the lower lash line just to blend it with the top. Obviously, I'm trying to use as many colors as I can just to kind of see how they perform, but you do not need to use six different <laughs> browns to create an eye look. This is just for this video. Let's take the lighter shade and put it in the inner part of the eye right here. This one's definitely a cooler tone. I'm actually gonna combine it with a second one to give a little bit of neutral shade rather than just white. And then I'm taking the black with a small brush. This is a BK Beauty 204. Make sure I tap this. And lining a little bit the outer corner right here. I'm not taking it all the way in the front just because I want everything to be at the end of the eye. And whatever's left, I'm taking it on the lower lash line as well. Slowly fading it. Of course, going with a blending brush to make sure everything is blended in, like always. And I think I'm gonna stop here. I've used most of these colors. There's a couple like this one I don't think I've touched. Oh, they have names, okay. <laughs> M and three, I don't think I've touched. And maybe the M and six, did I get into this? I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna put mascara and show you the finished look. The mascara I've used is the Jones Road Mascara. It is my go-to right now. It dried out a little bit and it has become my favorite. I didn't love it the first time I've tried it, but the more it dried out, the better it got. So that's what I have on right now. So this is the finished look. I have to say, I'm loving, loving these tones. I like the way this blended in. I I adore the palette and I knew I would because I personally love Makeup by Mario formula. I think it's a little bit less pigmented than Natasha Denona or some of the Pat McGrath. Those are a little bit more intense and I think the mattes are a little harder to work with. But these mattes to me are perfect. I love that he made them a little bit creamier. They're a little bit powdery, powdery, powdery. That was hard for me to say, but they are a little bit more powdery than the original one, but they give a little bit more creaminess and just softness. They don't feel chalky. So I personally really like the quality. I love the colors and I knew I would because they're not too cool tone. Right now, I definitely use the this color right here that's making it a little bit more cool tone. But overall, I do think this is, I would say, 90% neutral. You just have the MN11 that's leaning more cool tone, but the browns overall are quite neutral, which I really, really like. I think the tones are perfect. So I give this palette 9.5 out of 10. I love it. Um, if you like this formula, I think you would really enjoy the colors because it's not a palette that will look bad on anybody. I think the tones are perfectly neutral with a slight coolness in it if you choose so. I don't see any actual warm shades. Again, this brown right here is probably the most warm tone that I see in here and that one I would consider it neutral. So love this. I think it's going to be one of those that I reach for over and over again, kind of like the Patrick Ta. I really like this one because of the cool tones in here 
and I think the Makeup by Mario one is that, but without the warm tone. So for me, it's, it's a win. I adore the palette. Also, I did not clean my under eye at all, and there's absolutely no fallout, which is really nice, but I did tap pretty much every time I went into a shadow. Moving on into the lips, and I have the Tom Ford Slim Lip Color right here. I have done a reel on these, so I can put it somewhere, um, but I have the shade 100, 151 Iconic Nude, and the open back. You know what? I think I'm just gonna swatch them all for you. I'll try to be real quick. These lipsticks are $50, and I have to emphasize how tiny these are, okay? I don't think on camera it shows just how little product you get in here and how tiny they are. This can be a positive and a negative. Obviously, negative is that these are extremely expensive per ounce. I would like to tell you how much they are, but I cannot see. So I'm not sure how much they are per ounce, but they're tiny. Kind of reminds me of the Hourglass really stick skinny lip products. It's kind of like that. So just be aware. Look at the ounces if you are interested in these because you're paying a lot a lot of money for these. So I'm going to swatch open back first. It's definitely a little bit more of a brown one, but even though they are very expensive, I do have to say I really like them. I have been using them almost daily. Okay, so this is open back and it is more of a nude warm tone. There's definitely brown in there. It is a beautiful shade. I really enjoy it. The next shade is my favorite. This is the uh, 100, 100, and it is deeper. And I fell in love with this color, which is the reason why I purchased all of these because I was at Nordstrom swatching them. And when I put this on, I was like, wow, I, that's the one. This is the color 100, 100, and it's much deeper than I expected it. Actually, all these colors are a little deeper, but I love the tone of this. I love the shine of it. I love that I can apply it with the bullet with no lip liner. Because it's so skinny, you can really shape the lips real well. And I, I really like this color. You can see it has a sheen to it. It's almost like a combination between a satin lipstick and the Hourglass Phantom lip products, they're not that juicy, but they're not just satin lipsticks. They're definitely much more moisturizing and quite a lot of pigment, as you can see. I love this color so much. I wear it pretty much with nothing on. I don't even have mascara when I wear this, and I think it's just a statement lip. And then I left Iconic Nude as the last one because it's the one that I think I'm gonna wear today. And it is a beautiful nude, a little bit pinky, not too much though, and very wearable. There's definitely a lot of pigment in these, so you can get full opacity. Oh, I forgot to swatch it next to the other ones. So here are all the shades, the iconic nude, 100, and open back. I love this color, but I don't like it with my eyes, so I'm gonna tap it down, see if that helps. It's just a little bit too much with the eyes. I'm taking Anywhere Caffeine and lining my lips a little bit. And I'm gonna take Open Back and just slowly tap it. I don't want it full pigment. It's just too much with the eye look. Let me give you my thoughts real quick on everything that I've tried. I mean, the foundation concealer have been favorites of mine for years now, and they're still up here, top drawer, and I'm excited to wear them a little bit more. I wanna say I'm not quite half on both of them, but close to being like halfway down to these. So they're gonna last me a little longer. The blushes are beautiful. They're definitely leaning a little bit more on the warmer side, so be aware of that, but the colors are stunning. I love the new packaging. I think it makes the biggest difference. It makes me wanna pick all of them up, but I won't. The only one I'm gonna pick is the Pamela Peach. I love the warmer one. The rosy one, as you can see here, it still has warmth in it. And so don't 
be surprised. Don't think it's a rose color. It definitely has a lot of warmth in there, but beautiful new new colors. Love the new packaging. The formula seems to be the same. The eyeshadow is fabulous. I absolutely love these tones. I think they are everyday friendly. You can really make a smokier eye. You can go simpler. You can do one shade all over the lid. I think the tones are perfection in here and if you're looking for a good neutral with just a little bit of coolness in it I think this is great obviously it's an all matte palette you're not going to have any shimmers but for me I think it's going to become a staple in my collection um the the Tom Ford lipstick so I personally love them obviously I don't have a full one on right now but I've been wearing them a lot, but they are not worth the money. $50 for such little product. I feel like ripped off, but I like that they're so skinny. I love the packaging. I think that's the thing that pulled me in the most, but then I saw how little you get. I was like, Ugh. but I barely go through my lip products. So, you know, it's not going to affect me personally, but if it's going to affect you, if you only own like one or two lipsticks, you're not getting a lot of product. I do like the colors. They're a little bit more intense. The formula is really nice. And the one thing that I wanted to mention is that these last on me so long. I was shocked. I wore the 100-100 and I did a reel with it in the morning, evening time. I want to say it was eight o'clock at night. It was still on and I had eaten, I have drank throughout the day and it was still on, I could not believe. And so I wore the open back the next day and it did the same. Even though it's kind of shiny and moisturizing, it acts like a very long wearing lipstick. So that was great for me. And I love, I mean, I love the packaging. I'm such a sucker for this skinny bullet thing, but very expensive for what you're getting. And I wouldn't say that it's a revolutionary formula. You know, it's, it's just beautiful, but not worth the $50. Will I wear them and enjoy them? Absolutely. And I think that's it for now, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video, my thoughts on older products, newer products, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.